All right, for this logo critique, we're gonna actually get in a lot deeper than I normally do because there's lots of things to work on. And we were given the vector file, so that also makes it a lot easier for me to critique it. And here's one of those things about letter forms. They share common elements and makes them a family. Imagine if you came from a family of really tall, skinny people, and then there was like a short runt. It would feel out of place. And logos and letter form design is very much like this. So once you establish a certain rhythm, angles, balance and weight, you need to make sure that those are consistently applied across the board. These are telltale signs of somebody who understands the basic concept but hasn't mastered it yet. So buckle in, we're gonna go deep on this one. All right, devote. What's the problem with this? I think the E's and the O and the T, all the curves are too far down maybe. You are correct. Uh, the overshoot is too much. And there's another problem too, is a look at the thick and thins. Right? Yeah. A modern typeface like this has great contrast between the thick and thins. So the thick and the thin. And this feels like from a different era where the thick and thins weren't as uh, more of an old style or transitional style. So what we want to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to scale it up. Okay? Okay. So then I think optically it feels more in the same family as the V, mm -hmm. which, is, which I think is the most unique character of them all. I like this V quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna take this whole thing and I'm gonna scale it down a hair. That might be too little, but let's see what happens. We're doing everything optically, guys. So if you look at it, it feels like it's on the same line. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. Does it feel like it's on the line or does it need to be a little bit bigger? I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm gonna hit scale, I'm gonna hit return, I'm gonna hit 101 degrees or percentage. How's that? That feels better. Okay, so that's my new overshoot line. So I'm gonna grab a ruler and guide hit that point right there. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same with the top. Theoretically, it should be exactly the same top and bottom. Assume that it is, it's not, but let's, let's live with that. Now, yes. I have some issues here. I think when you have one flourish, one kind of custom letter, I don't think you wanna do it to every single letter. So for me, these little things start to make it feel like it's elvish or jolly Christmassy kind of thing. Yeah. So it feels a little funny to me. So I'm gonna delete these things. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So now I'm fun. not sure that the T feels funny, but so I'm gonna leave the T for right now. And let's hide the guides. Let's look at this. Let's step back for a little bit. We only fixed the O, and that's it. Mm -hmm. How does it feel right now? It feels better, but the E's and the T need to be adjusted to match the overshoot of the O. That's correct. So we're going to keep going. Now, I, I want to make sure that we're moving in the right direction before I start changing all these letters, right? So if you feel like, yeah, we've made some positive changes, which it sounds like you are saying, if I can interpret that, I, w I want to check the measurement of this. Theoretically, this vertical stroke should be the same as this. It seems a little shy. Yeah. Like that seems shy. Like, I wonder why. Why is that thinner? I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm no expert at this kind of typeface. So let's just type in a Bauer Bodoni. Okay, so Seems I'm gonna do a couple of things here, you guys. First, I converted this thing to an outline. I wanna see what a master letter form looks like. And I wanna study this. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna check this out. It two is, oh, it's exactly the same size. So that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we probably need to fix that. The next, oops, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna check this against this as it should be. Okay, the curve of the bowl of the E, this part here, mm -hmm. of the shoulder, whatever you want to call this, is actually thicker than the vertical stroke, as it should be. I'm going to compare that to this. This two is wider, the diagonal stroke is thicker or wider than the vertical stroke. We know some things there. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the bowl. Let me ungroup this. Take this letter. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna compare. So Erica's on the money on this too. They are very similar. Some things have been changed, right? So it tapers down faster on the right hand side. You guys see what I'm saying? Yes. All right, good. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna delete. Okay. So if you guys haven't taken a lettering course or you slept through Linz's lettering <laughs> course, I can't even say it. Then you right. could do this, and you can kind of study from how the masters do it. But make sure you study from a, a really well drawn typeface from a 
reputable type boundary. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Now, let's fix the D. Yeah. So let's do that. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna take this and I'll move it over here. And I'm gonna see if I can do this in one fell swoop. I'm gonna select that, then shift and grab that. Zoom in a little bit here. Take this and move it over right there. And we've solved that problem. Okay? I'm gonna look at this relative to this. It's a little bit wider, so we're safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Maybe we're not. Yeah. We're safe. It's a little safe. bit wider. We're, we're safe. safe. Okay. We're good. And let's check it out on this. We're not. So this is not as wide as it needs to be. So I'm going to select these points. There. So it looks like it's out and then it flat flattens out right here. This O is drawn very differently than the way that our O is drawn. So we're going to have some problems here. Where we were looking at this here, ladies, and it pretty much lines up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That we can use that, but ours is not going to be able to do that because where this flattens out, it looks funky. Hmm. Right? A little bit. Let me, let me bring it out right there. So first of all, I can, I can get rid of this thing right here and I'll bring it in. So it's not a problem for us. So we need to look at the way this transitions into this and make sure it's not too thick. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. It doesn't look right. Hmm. Looks terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So what we should do is we should fix this one to make it work in this thickness, and then we'll go from there. I think that's kind of what they had before, so I'm going to delete this now. Let's go one thing at a time. Okay. Do we want to get rid of the ball on the T, the terminal? That's what it's called, the terminal on the T. Do we want to get rid of that terminal? I kind of like that there's... I think I one is, I think one's enough. And Erica, you're saying it's cool. So for those people that don't like it, it's gone. <laughs> and then we're gonna fix the crossbar. So where should we make it cross over? Maybe with that. I need to fix this part of the O. So I'm gonna go rulers and drag this thing down and hit that point right there. Darn it. So I need to fix this thing now. I think it's right there. I think that's the same line. It is. Okay. That means we have a problem down here too. If this is too thick. Maybe. All right, guys. Internet number one, which is the original. Number two has some modifications. We dropped the ball terminal of the T, but I didn't fix the E at that point, so it looks a little funky. But look at number three, number trois. Numero trois. Un, de trois. Which one do you guys like the most? Let me know. Let us know. Type it in. Check this out. If you have a typeface like Bauer, Bodoni, or Dido, and you have this monostroke thing here, like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and then it tapers out to something like this, I'm going to show you how to draw that so that this arc doesn't start to get tapered in and out. So when you draw it by, by hand, manually, it can look like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Look a little wonky. Yes, that's happened. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna increase the stroke to something like like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's pretend like that's <laughs> going to be our E. It's not a great E, I admit that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this part, guys. I'm gonna option drag over here. Oh. Like this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna scale this part down to do the transition, right? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And if you were blinking, oh. if you went to the bathroom, you missed it. So I'm going to use the scissor tool. I'm going to hit cut. I'm going to cut it right here. Okay? I'm going to hide this part. I'm going to join this part, mm. which is Command J. I'm going to oh, join I that see part. what you did. And then I'm going to then fill this with black. Oh, Trixie Hobbit. Mm hmm. Why didn't it fill with black? X. Shift no, X. I need this stroke. Okay. Then I'm going to hit Command Option 3 and show that thing, and I am done. Woo! Booyah. 
So you might be sitting there thinking, well, Chris, how am I going to get the other side? We'll hit O and reflect that thing. Copy. Right? And then what we can do is we can delete these points. Delete. Select these two points. Hit Command J. There's an E. And Look at that. It's in three, two, one. The E is coming. Now, I didn't draw this carefully, obviously. So this would need to go out to here. Mm. But I can do that since it's drawn in a certain way that it's super easy to do. Now, this is jank. It's too low. We want to cut it up a little higher. So I'm going to take a box here and probably chop it right around there, say. So it's like that and go into divide. I think it's this one. Nope. Minus front. There we go. And select this so it remembers the stroke width and hit pen and just draw and there. Boom. And I'm going to bring it right to here. We're going to probably have some problems the way that connects, but I, I cut it up too high. Cut it too high. Mm. Obviously. I'm not an expert letter form designer. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, let me know if you guys agree or disagree with the changes that I've made in the comments below. Hit like if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified. If you want a deeper dive into a logo design course, make sure you check out the course that we have called Logo Design and Construction. That's on the Academy site and we'll provide a link somewhere here. And last but not least, if you want to have your work critiqued and reviewed, make sure you follow us on Facebook it's the Mitchell work when we call for submissions. That's it. That's all I have for you guys. See you next time. Namaste.